Hi, welcome to Python Programming. Uh, this video is about how to download the software to write some Python code. I decided to cover this instead of the other program that was available for Android and the and iOS because I had some problems uh, when you move further on you had to change some code around which was not standard. This video is about standard Python code that we will be using for just about everything. So this is basically what you do is, and by the way, these steps are the same on, on Mac or same on PC. It doesn't matter. It's the same. Uh, the, the menus look the same uh, when you're running the Python program to be able to write the code. So basically open any browser that you have. If you're on uh, PC, you can use Firefox, Internet Explorer. It really doesn't matter. And on the, on the Mac, you have Safari or Firefox, Chrome. It's the same type of thing. So when you go to your browser, go to uh, www.python.org. And you'll see that's P-Y-T-H-O-N dot O-R-G. And then over here, you can see where it says download. And I'm on a Mac, so it's choosing a Mac. But the Windows one is, is the same principle. So what you want to do is download the newest one where it says Python point point, uh, which is 3.64. It's going to be the same on the PC. So I'm going to click on that and it goes into download, which on the PC, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to have the download so we can watch the, uh, the download here. And as you can see, uh, it's about 27 meg. It's around the same size on PC. It, it varies depending on what updates have been done. Sometimes you'll see 30 meg or 35. It kind of kind of varies. Where I'm at right now is a, a slow internet connection. So I'll just let this go to the end. There we go. Now all of a sudden it's uh, speeding up. Okay. So now it is downloading. Now you can look in the download folder and you can look for the and you can look for your download on the Mac. You just hit the uh, magnifying glass, so I'm going to hit that here, and then you double click, double click it on the PC. It's the same idea. You double click it and it goes into the installer. It's the the same idea, and it shows yeah, it shows about the same. So I'm going to hit continue, and then I'm going to hit continue, and Continue again, agree to the license, and it, it doesn't take that much space on either computer. Here it's about 106 megs. It's not that large of a program. So then you put your password. Okay, so it's running the scripts. So after this, I will show you which two programs uh, come with it. And there we go. The program is installed. I'm going to keep the installer. Okay, so now, as we exit out of everything, you go to, on the Mac, you go to the launch pad, and you will see these two, even on the PC, you'll see if, when you install it, you go to um, start, and yeah, you can go to, if you're on Windows 10, you, know, you can go to, start and then look at the programs you'll see uh, newly installed programs on, on the PC and you'll see the same thing you'll see idle and then you'll see uh, Python launcher okay uh, what you want to use is idle you click on idle okay and then you will see this on the screen which is exactly the same as the PC or the or the Mac it's the same so let's do our first program now that you know how to install it, I'm actually going to jump into a very, very simple program, which is uh, very simply put, uh, we'll do Hello World, but I will show you something extra on this. Let's make a, you, you can use this to run commands, but I want to show you actually how to create a file which holds all those commands, which is your program code. 
and then I will show you how to run it. Okay, so what we're going to do is basically a single line of code, okay? So what you do is you do file new, okay? And you'll see this, this square appear. And this happens on the PC too. You'll see the same, the same type of square. Okay, so let's do something. Let's do, let's make the computer display a message like, uh, hello, okay? So the way you send information out to the screen is you use print. That's a, a command you use called print. So let's do, basically, see it's even telling you how to, uh, it's got great uh, help on here and uh, some good templates. So what you do is you put single quotes, you put an open, I'll do this again, you put print, open parentheses, a single quote, hello, and then another single quote, and then a close, a, a um, parentheses. So basically, at, you start with it, Whatever you start with, you end with. They have to be the same on both sides. Okay, so you have open parentheses, quote, whatever you want to put in. Put a single quote. Yeah, these are single quotes. And then a parentheses, and then you hit enter. That enters the uh, code. Okay, so now the way to make this function, okay, is you do run, okay, and you pick run module. Okay, but before we do that, let's save this. You always want to, and this is a good practice, I'm telling you at the beginning, I've lost code by not saving over and over again. Let's save this as a, a greeting. Let's call it greeting. So what you do is you put the name in, in all the files on PC or Mac, it doesn't matter, even, on, um, even when I program in... Um, uh, Linux and everything else, you end them in PY. It's the same with Raspberry Pi, which we, we will be coming to. Remember, you'll be using this code on Raspberry Pi. That's kind of where I'm leading with all of this. So I want to give you a basic understanding of Python. So you end it with PY, and this is the same on Raspberry Pi. And this is put in my documents. Does it on the same on the PC? It puts it in documents. So let's save it. Okay. Now we have a uh, a file. Okay. So let's you click run and run module and right there it displays it there we go it says hello right over here okay so you've successfully if you followed along you've successfully written your first line of code to make it display something okay now let's cover one more thing as an extra thing let's say <clears throat> Let's say you want to enter a name, and it will say hello and the name, okay? So, what we're going to do, we're going to delete this code. Now, there is a, a way to get things into the computer, which is a command called input, okay? I-N-P-U-T. That's how you get information into the computer. And the way you get information out to display is like we used print, Okay, so now when you get information to, from the computer from a outside world, you need to put it someplace, and they're called variables. Now I know you you probably remember these in high school or grade school, and you're thinking, "Oh, I was terrible at math." It doesn't doesn't matter. This is going to be a lot of fun. Okay, basically, a variable is like a bag, and the variable holds information. Okay. So let me start by writing this code. And what you're going to do, you're going to call this bag or variable, so to speak, called name. Okay. Now, the name is equal to, this is what is inside. On this side is what is inside of this bag. Okay. Called name. So anything over here is what's going to be inside. Anything here is what is inside of this. Okay. Now, remember what I said to get information into the computer? Very good. Input. So you say input. Okay. And then if you just put input, it helps to tell the user what to put in. Okay. So this looks very familiar. This is just like the print statement. Okay. The print command. So you put the open parentheses, 
a single quote and we just now you can freely type anything like what is your name question mark and then put a space after okay and then what do we end it with good we started with a quote and then what's the what's the other part we ended with good the bracket going the other way okay so then we hit enter now let's make this simple and we can put how do we uh, how do we display information to the user very good print print okay and then we use what's the next thing good open bracket and then i want it to display hello and then the name okay let's try something we can do hello so we need a what is it that we need a single quote and then we can type hello now when we're joining things we join and put a space okay you're joining this to hello and whatever's in the name so this is the procedure for that you put hello and then you close the single parentheses okay so then you would put hello plus the name there okay so you're saying hello space and then the name will follow after that so it's going to say let's say it's uh joe so joe goes in the bag and name or variable and it's going to say hello space and it's going to put joe right next to hello okay so what do we end this with good we end it with a closed we we end it with a a parentheses okay so we hit enter so now let's run this code so basically this is saying what is your name and it goes into the name it puts it in here the bag and then we say print hello and then the name so let's run this uh, a good a good lesson to learn here is save it first okay it's saved now we run it okay so what is your name and I will put Edward and then the person types that in and then you hit enter there we go hello Edward see whatever you put in now to run this again you can put run module whoops yeah there it is now there's an important thing I want to say here as you know so let's look at our code Remember I told you to put a space? I'll show you what happens if you don't put the space. So let's finish this. We'll put Joe, okay? You hit enter to get the data into the computer. And then it puts hello, Joe. Now watch this. This is what's fun. Now we can play with it. Let's say you didn't put a space, okay? I want to show you what that does. So let's, how do you run it? You do run, run module. Okay, ah, it's telling you, you got to save it. It's a good habit to have, believe me. Now, what happens here? Notice it's kind of close. It'll work, but it's just kind of sloppy. It's kind of close. That's why you want to put that space there. That's exactly what it does. And then if I put enter, it'll function. It'll say, hello, Edward. But notice that you kind of want to put a space. So let's go back to the code. And this is what's fun. You can freely just... You've used word processors. You can just go in like a word processor and enter that in. Now, what do you do next? It's going to bark at me. It's going to tell me, save. So save it. And then go to run and run module. Now we are back to the space. And then we hit enter. There we go. So I will be back with another program about numbers, how to input numbers. And we can mix the two. Thank you very much, and remember, feel free to and definitely hit the subscribe button to keep posted on other videos that are coming out, and definitely hit the like button if you really like this video. I will be posting a lot on Python, and then we will be getting to the next, uh, the next part, which will be, yeah, very, very soon will be on the Raspberry Pi. 
and it's going to look very very similar to this very very similar and I will give you more lessons on variables variables with numbers and variables with text which is very very helpful we'll be using that on Raspberry Pi thank you very much and remember keep learning <laughs>